Good morning everyone and welcome to Mr. Ong Math lesson again. Today we are going to do how to rearrange a formula, also called the changing the subject of formula. This is an important lesson because this is not only useful in mathematics, but it's also useful in other subjects like science, physics, chemistry, biology, and any other subject that require, requires you to change the subject of the formula. So the idea of the rearranging formula is simple. You are going to put the new subject of formula on the left. You have to do that by flipping the equation. And then you are going to move the rest of the equation to the right. You do that, you need to do the reverse. If it is a plus 3x, you minus 3x. If it is times 3, you divide by 3. Okay, we shall look at some examples. We shall first look at the 2019 NCA paper. They ask you to find, make P the subject of formula. So the first thing you do, you want P on the left. So what you do, you're going to swap the equation. P Q squared plus r equal to w. Just make the r, the w on the other side of the equation. Now, you are going to take the rest of the equation that's not p to the other side. So, plus r, you do the reverse. You minus r on the left. You must do the same on the right. So, when you do that, the r will cancel out. So, what's left is you have p q squared. This will cancel out equals to w minus r then of course you must get rid of the q squared to do that you divide by q squared on both sides and the q squared will cancel out so what's left is p equals to w minus r over q squared and that is an achieve okay we shall look at another example another achieve question so this was from the 2018 nca paper and you are going to make R the subject. So the step one again, you're going to swap the equation. So 9 over 4 R squared equals to A. The first thing, you need to put the subject of equation, which is R on the left. So R had to be on the left. So what you did, you swap the equation. Now you need to get rid of 9 over 4. The reverse of 9 over 4, you have to multiply by 4 over 9. Because when you multiply them, you put in your calculator, 4 over 9 times 9 over 4, they will cancel out, and they will become 1. So what's left is going to be R squared equals to 4 over 9A. And then the next step you need to do, you need to get rid of the square. The reverse of a square is the square root. So you're going to be R equals to square root of 4 over 9A. Or if you know that 4 over 9, square root of 4 over 9 is 2 over 3, that is also acceptable. So both of them will give you an achieve in NCA level 1. Okay, now we're going to do the two harder questions. Uh, these are both excellent questions. First one is from the 2016. This is actually a word problem. Uh, they are actually asking you to make L in terms of P. So again, first step, rearrange the formula. 2 pi square root of L over 9.8. That is equal to T. The first thing you need to do is to get rid of the 2 pi. To do that, you're going to divide by 2 pi. So you're going to divide by 2 pi on both sides. So what you are left with is going to be square root of L over 9.8 is equal to T over 2 pi. Then you are going to get rid of the square root. The reverse of square root is square. So L over 9.8 is the square t over 2 pi squared. Then the last step, you need to get it to 9.8. What you do, you're going to multiply by 9.8 on both sides. And that'll do. L equals to 9.8 t over 2 pi squared. And that is an excellent. Not too bad, right? Good. Now we're going to do the last one. The last one is from the recent 2019 NCA paper. So this one is slightly different. You want to make Z. So Z has to be on the left and the rest has to go on the right. So the first thing you need to get rid is the minus 16x squared. So you plus 16x squared on both sides. Okay. So the, the new equation is going to be JZ squared. This will cancel out. Equals to 5y squared plus 25wz 
squared plus 16x squared. The next step, because there's a z there, you have to bring this to the left. So the thing you're going to do, you're going to minus them. So j z squared minus 25 w z squared equals to 5y squared plus 16 x squared what we did is just your minus 25 y z squared on both sides of the equation and that's the new equation now you're going to factorize the z squared because these are z squared and z squared so you're going to factorize z squared j minus 25 w because z squared is a common factor equals to 5 y squared plus 16 x squared and then you're going to divide by j minus 25w on both sides. j minus 25w. So your equation is left with z squared equals to 5y squared plus 16x squared over j minus 25w. And because it's a square, the reverse of a square is the square root of 5y squared plus 16x squared divided by j minus 25w and most likely you have to put a plus minus and that will give you an excellence in NCA level 1. It sounds difficult but if you practice hard and practice more you will become good at it. So my advice to you is keep on practicing and one day you'll be an algebra guru. Thank you for watching and have a good day.